I will discipline you all. End video, we're done. <laughs> no. I will discipline you, Christopher Voice, by grounding you in reality. You see, the problem with Ivana, Courtney, Brittany, Christopher, Christopher, the Azudei Ilodibe clan, all their henchmen and women, and the list goes on, is that the pushover was never me, Andy. The pushover was you, Jada, Jonathan, Logan, Austin, Abby, Katrina, Darlian, Jillian, Brad, Zoe, Asher, Roth, Keegan, Timmy, Monica, Beyonce, Kim, Rihanna, Nikki, the Pope, the 13 bloodline, the list goes on. Why were y'all the pushovers? Because anything in life without reason must be pushed over the ledge. I want to say the end, but I came here to cause havoc. Cause havoc like all the times I had rumbly tummies thinking that I needed medicine like the supposed pharmacist Christopher is, always diagnosing people with prescription after prescription, not knowing what the fuck he's doing. But because he has a degree and drives a Mercedes, it seemed valid for his brother Cyprian to dose him for his proclivities. Same with Ivana. Meth is meth, crack is crack, opioids are opioids. It doesn't matter if you get them legally or legally. Pharmaceuticals are pharmaceuticals. That's the point of today. The point of today is showing how subtle teas can be misconstrued if they are not disciplined by Maureen. The subtlety of going to church while hiding in your closet doing spells that the Pope who also hides in his closet would have to defame you for, excommunicate you for publicly, Courtney and Angela, because even he has to subtly hide behind the facade of a Catholic God. You see, I give people reason to live. That's why my whole life I was attacked into meat in me. And up rising the mutiny requires attacking back with discipline. Good old hard cold facts. Facts that I can back up in so many ways. Those liars continue to gnaw on their nails in fearful anticipation of what will come out of my mouth, what secrets will come out of my mouth, especially the secrets. The divine had to teach me that they are not like you, Maureen. 
truth is what I keep, not secrets. So any ways in which they try to hypnotic rhythm the vampiress to God's vampire clearly could never work. That's the thing about being a copycat, a destiny swamper. At some point, you will meet God. And that God complex of yours will sink to the bottom of that swamp that is your bottomless vessel. I've drawn a line in the sand that anytime you feel like crossing, you will fall quick. I could never be a lesbian because I am a born dick sucker that dick being assigned to God. I suck God's dick so good. There's no way you could convince him that you are me. Because you see, I'm not a goody two shoes. I never wanted to be and never could be. I'm not a liar. That is something that clearly just is far-fetched. I'm an original. I'm an original human. I'm an original divine born goddess. I am the one and only counterpart to the man you kneel for that I only kneel for when I suck his dick. You see what I'm saying? Unapologetic, I don't give a fuck. You do. That's why I continue to hit you where it hurts. Because I have everything to win. Having nothing to lose is not even in my skill set. Sacrifices were made for me and God to thrive in our haven of love. I am holier than you. The proof of God's work is in the fact that I wake up every day looking like I left his table well served. The proof in God's work is that you wake up every day unkempt, very badly malnourished, and uglier than thou. The difference between me and you is that if I were a lesbian, I would be a proud gay woman. There's no shame in my game. Keyword, as an ally, there is no shame in my game. Beware, beware, beware of a woman with a scorned heart. <laughs>